secondary hyperparathyroidism is due to vitamin D deficiency or decreased calcium intake or chronic renal failure technically in uh, vitamin D resistant uh, rickets so uh, the deficiency of vitamin D can cause rickets and osteomalacia so uh, rickets it's where the failure of osteoid to mineralize during the process of bone remodeling when new bone forms at the growth plates whereas osteomalacia is uh, the failure of the bone to remineralize during the bone remodeling so it is uh, the synthesis of vitamin D is a multi step process that starts both with the formation of cold calciferol or vitamin D3 in the skin from the cholesterol under the stimulus of the ultraviolet light and with the absorption of uh, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 from plant and animal dietary sources or nutritional supplements so in the liver vitamin D2 and D3 undergo uh 25 hydroxylation producing a 25 hydroxyl vitamin d a second hydroxylation occurs in the kidney at position 1 uh forming the active metabolite that's 1 comma 25 uh, hydroxyl vitamin d which promotes intestinal absorption of the calcium and phosphorus and increases the renal for, uh, phosphate reabsorption and acts on the bone to release the calcium and phosphate So, what do we do if a child with rickets presents to an orthodontist? So, local application of vitamin D three to the molar roots of rats have shown uh, to uh, shown that there is an increase in mineral positional rate on the alveolar bone after the OTM. So, orthodontic treatment can be carried out if the patient is on medications and the levels of the phosphates are maintained. so uh orthodontic treatment of patients with hypophosphatic vitamin d resistant rickets a study done by kawakami et al so the conclusion of this article was that uh, when uh, the patient was treated with a functional appliance uh, which was an elastic open activator in this case followed by the extraction of the four premolars and the use of an edgewise appliance they found that there was no particularly any uh, root resorption seen during the otm and uh, ultimately the child had obtained a good occlusion and facial features were pleasing at the end so moving on to osteopetrosis so it results from the defects in the osteoclastic function that leads to a decrease in bone resorption so the defect in the bone turnover characteristically results in a skeletal fragility despite increased bone mass a lack of uh, osteoclastic activity and thereby bone remodeling is a concern of an, of an orthodontist so children with an infantile form of osteopetrosis have been reported to have dental issues including delay in the tooth eruption missing and malformed teeth enamel hypoplasia problems with dentinogenesis mandibular protrusion and odontomas so those with a dominant uh, osteopetrosis have a normal tooth eruption tooth removal removal in either condition should be handled conservatively as such procedures can result in a bone fracture or uh, and osteomyelitis so what do we do if a patient with osteopetrosis presents so a uh, frequent dental follow up has to be maintained so that we can uh, uh, keep an eye on the eruption of the teeth oral prophylaxis has to be uh, conducted regularly for any surgical procedures antibiotic prophylaxis has to be provided fluoride treatment uh, is uh, to be given to the patient to prevent any caries activity so moving on to diabetes so uh, the type 1 diabetes is insulin dependent or juvenile onset diabetes which results from the defects in the insulin secretion the onset of uh, type 1 dm is usually before adulthood and accounts to approximately 5 to 50% of all people with diabetes mellitus so uh, it occurs more frequently in european origin than the non european origin 
is life threatening if not treated by an exogenous insulin type 2 dm which is non insulin dependent or major onset diabetes it's usually develops as a result of defects in the insulin secretion or insulin action or maybe both there is a link between over overweight and type 2 dm so it usually appears in people over age of uh, 40 years and although uh, in south asian and african caribbean people often appears after the age of 25 years so uh, with a recent study there are more children being diagnosed there are more children being diagnosed with conditions some as young as 7 so this form of uh, diabetes mellitus is more prevalent in less affluent population which accounts for 85 to 95 percent of all cases so moving on to orthodontic considerations so uh, orthodontic treatment should be avoided in patients with uncontrolled diabetes they should be uh, called in for an early morning appointments importance of uh, good oral hygiene and any risk of periodontal diseases have to be uh, made sure so regular oral prophylaxis have to be provided so diabetic uh, patients should be treated as uh, periodontal patients so which means we have to provide light and light physiological forces during OT the, uh, the treatment if the patient is hypoglycemic uh, conch, if they are conscious 50 grams of uh, glucose as a drink or a tablet or gel should be administered if they are unconscious 20 milliliter of 50 percent dextrose or 1 milligram of glucagon intravenous has to be provided moving on to adrenal disorders so uh, the primary adrenal insufficiency which results in adrenal gland not being able to produce cortisol or aldosterone the most common cause is the autoimmune autoimmune uh, adrenal gland destruction so this could lead to fatigue weight loss abdominal pain nausea vomiting increased skin pigmentation gingival pigmentation uh, they present with hypoglycemia and hypotension so what to do if a patient with addison's disease presents to an orthodontist so special care should be taken in uh, taken that in times of the stress so they must uh, increase that group glucocorticoid replacement dosage to mimic the normal physiological response also an endocrinologist have to be consulted prior to any surgery to uh, alter the dosage of the glucocorticoids. So the commonly asked questions in uh, orthodontics and medical disorders are the drugs for the pain control in orthodontics, which are uh, NSAIDs, mechanism of its uh, of the action and effects of uh, NSAIDs on the tooth movement, its indications and contraindications, and uh, Write about the allergies caused during the tooth, orthodontic tooth movement or treatment. So, uh, particularly everything related to allergies, the types, particularly nickel allergy, orthodontic consideration for, a, for the nickel allergy, latex allergy, orthodontic consideration for the latex allergy. These are the references that were used for this seminar.